Here we're introducing a new idea, which is that of parametric curves. Now, what the word parametric means is just equations that are in terms of a parameter. In this case, the parameter is going to be t, right? See this little t right here? That's my parameter. And that's usually the parameter uh, generally used, although I suppose it could be anything. Almost always you're going to see it as t uh, at this level. Now, what we're asking in this first case is we've got this, um, this curve here called the Witch of Agnesi. And I want to know what, what the variable a represents. Okay, what is a actually equal to in this particular curve? There's a whole family of curves that follow this pattern right here. I want to know what a equals in the graph that we're shown. So what you can do is just look at that red spot right there. Okay, that's t equals 0. Now, if you plug that into our parametric equations, we get the following. We get x equals 2 times a times 0, or in other words, x equals 0. Yep, that checks out. And then in terms of y, here's what we get. y equals 2a divided by 1 plus 0 squared, or in other words, y equals 2a. Well, according to the graph, that's equal to 1. So 2a equals 1, that means a equals 1 half. That's, that's all this one is asking. It's really not a complicated question once you know what to look for. Now, what we have here is a little tool. And when you're doing your homework, this, this little slider goes back and forth, right? You can wiggle that back and forth and see how it interacts with the graph, and that's kind of neat. But what I want you to do is plug in a particular value, negative 1.3, and let's see what x and y equal at t equals negative 1.3. So the way we do that is we say, okay, x of t, or in other words, x of 1.3, I should say. So I'll say when, when t equals 1.3, just to make it really clear here. When t equals 1.3, x is going to be equal to 2 times a, now a is 1 half, times t, times t, and that was 1.3. Okay, so that equals... Uh, oh, it just equals 1.3. Great. So that means, um, excuse me, that was negative 1.3. Missed that. So that's going to be negative 1.3. So we're, we're talking over here somewhere. Okay, that's t equals negative 1.3. And what is this y value? Well, you could estimate it, but I'm, I'm betting you're not going to get it right unless you've got a really good eye. It's just easier to plug it into the equation that was given to us. So we're saying t equals negative 1.3. Well, what does that mean? That means 2 times 1 half, that's a, divided by 1 plus t squared, negative 1.3 squared. Okay, now that's a job for your calculator. But we, we can do a little simplifying if you want. This is going to be 1 on top, and then 1.3 squared. Okay, fine, 1.69. So we get 1 divided by 1 plus 1.69. So let me see what that is. 1... Uh, 1 divided by 2.69. So we're looking at 0.372-ish. Okay, so you plug that in for the y value, this in for the x value, and you get the following. Negative a coordinate point that looks like this. Negative 1.3, 0.37.